Did you guys read the article that came out on the Brampton Guardian a few weeks ago? That Brampton is about to begin to fine landlords under the new licensing program starting October 2024. Hi and hello and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years. Now, did you know that the city of Brampton has launched the second phase of its controversial residential landlord licensing pilot program and will begin issuing fines for non-compliance starting October 1st of 2024. Now, if you live in Brampton and if you have one of these split level homes that have a main level, a second unit and a basement apartment, then listen up because today's video is specifically for you. But first, you know the drill. Please hit that like, share and subscribe button and the bell icon. It gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. So the city of Brampton has moved into the second phase of its residential landlord licensing, that's the RRL pilot program, and time is running out for landlords to avoid significant fines. This is the same RRL that caused a fair amount of controversy when it was first launched on Jan 1st of this year. It is a two-year pilot program requiring landlords in five of the city's electoral wards to register the unit and apply for license in an effort to curb illegal renting units and roaming houses. The program was paused following the launch after a pushback from the landlords and that was a major pushback. But unfortunately, it relaunched on April 1st with changes following further public consultation. The city of Brampton said in its release, it's doing this because it's committed to creating a safer place for renters to call home. Brampton's residential rental licensing pilot program aims to maintain a neighborhood character, enforcing property standards and uphold the Ontario Fire Code for safety and create a safer place for renters to call home. So what does this program entail? Well, the RRL pilot only applies to landlords in wards 1, 3, 4, 5 and 7 who have homes with one or up to four rental units. These landlords must obtain a license for each of these properties. The city said close to 2,000 landlords have already registered their units as of July 4th. So the next logical step would be to move into the second phase of the RRL pilot program. And for those landlords who have not yet registered, time is running out so please go register your units to avoid significant fines for the first three months of the program the city waived the 300 dollars registration fee to encourage landlords to sign up for the second phase which will run through september 30th the city will discount the registration fee by 50 percent However, the next phase of the program starting October 1st, landlords will be charged the full fee and the city will begin issuing fines to landlords for non-compliance. In its release, the city said landlords will be fined up to $600 for the first offense, $900 for the second and $1,200 for the third and subsequent offenses. The fines will be applied on per property basis, meaning non-compliant landlords with multiple units would face fines for each one. Now, many landlords are opposing this program, but resident feedback overall has been overwhelmingly positive and in support for this program. A survey conducted during a telephonic town hall attended by more than 7,000 residents in February found that 83% of the respondents supported the city's effort to tackle illegal rentals, which let's face is a huge problem Brampton is facing right now. There are many homes where we will see 15 to 20 people living in the basement and that is risky. Now, the city does say that they are not going to be kicking down doors of every landlord's home to see how many people are living there. But if people complain that this house has too many people staying and it is unsafe, and let's say there's garbage everywhere, then those are the homes that the city will check. And for that, the Brampton Council recently approved a massive expansion of its bylaw department, with more than 30 new bylaw officers being hired to focus on enforcing this RRL. Now, all this is great, 
and I do think it's a good move to curb the greedy landlords and those people who are taking advantage of the students blah 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 don't get me wrong I do support this program but as usual the city did not bring in the human factor I always say people are people and people find a way landlords will also find a way to cheat the system there is no doubt about that i am more concerned about the honest landlords out there the ones who went and got the license the ones who will actually land up keeping just one family or two students as tenants tomorrow a tenant can easily blackmail them saying that if they don't fix this or if they don't fix that or if they don't comply to the tenants requirements they can complain to the city that you have too many people living in this house or that you hide them and the city comes for inspection anything is possible right why is the city not mentioning that if a wrong complaint is filed by the tenant then the person will have to pay the fine themselves why are these rules coming out just for landlords where are the penalties for the tenants now i'm not saying all tenants are bad just like i'm not saying all landlords are bad but there's a reason why we are stuck in this horrifying situation with the landlord tenancy board because right now tenants do tend to take advantage of the fact that the landlord tenancy board is still eight months behind and the people who actually suffer are the honest landlords so you tell me what you think about all of this once again my name is Preeti Rao and my contact information is in the description box below make sure to hit like share subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens a door to your dream home